uncontrolled sugars for a long period of time this will lead to the uh, problem in the kidney blood vessels of the kidneys and there is a increased leaking of the protein from the kidney over a period of time and this increased leakage of the protein from the kidney then in turn damages the kidney in long term but then there are other uh, factors also there is an increase in the other inflammatory markers oxidative stress and uh, damage to the uh, blood vessels of the kidney which will lead to increase in the blood pressure and the increased blood pressure will then further damage the kidneys the signs of diabetic specific damage is one there can be swelling over the body especially over the feet if somebody is having diabetes for a long period of time and he develops swelling over the feet so this is usually the first sign of the diabetic kidney disease then the blood pressure can also increase so uh, blood pressure increase swelling over feet and sometime with patient with kidney disease due to diabetes their sugar start reducing because the insulin is not excreted by kidneys so in if you are developing uh, low sugars with the same doses of insulin if you are developing swelling over body if your blood pressure is not controlled then this all can be sign of kidney disease diabetes is the most important cause of chronic kidney disease and kidney failure in india as well as throughout the world and uh, approximately 40% of patient with kidney disease and kidney failure have diabetes and about 30% of patient of uh, diabetes develop chronic kidney disease and kidney failure so it is very common and one should that is why it is important that one should control his diabetes from the beginning because kidney disease due to diabetes takes a long time to develop so if one control his blood pressure or sugars adequately then the chances of development of kidney disease reduces uh, to a greater extent in patient with diabetes so nowadays there are lot of uh, new uh, medications which helps in slowing the progression of kidney disease due to diabetes when the patient develop kidney disease because of diabetes so one of the most important thing is to prevention for prevention good control of the blood sugar is very important however once the patient develop kidney disease then other factors and other treatment becomes more important like control of the blood pressure which is very important once uh, patient develop kidney disease because hypertension is usually uncontrolled in patient with kidney disease due to diabetes so blood pressure control use of certain medications like ac inhibitors arb is to control the protein leak and to control the blood pressure are uh, first line drug then there are newer drugs like sglt2 inhibitors which also reduces the protein leak and the progression of kidney disease then there are another new class of drug which have now come is the mineral particle receptor agonist these are the class of drugs which can be used to slow the progression of kidney disease in patient of diabetes so the, recently there a lot of uh, new treatment and development in field of diabetic kidney disease you should uh, do the regular exercise uh, keep the uh, diet as healthy as possible and if the sugar size is still not controlled then one should visit a diabetes specialist or endocrinologist to control the sugars we should remember that it takes long period of time at least 5 year or 10 year or 15 year for a patient of diabetes to develop chronic kidney disease and some people think initially do not take their diabetes very seriously and that is the reason for development of various complications of diabetes so from the beginning if you keep your sugars under control then you can avoid a lot of complication because diabetes not only affect the kidney it also affect the other organs heart brain liver so so all the organs are affected eyes so sugar control second thing is uh, control your blood pressure so many patient with diabetes they also have hypertension and hypertension is also important in kidney disease uh, development of kidney disease and progression of kidney disease so blood pressure should be controlled and then one should take care that he does not take any medication which can unnecessarily uh, uh, affect the kidneys like 
too much of painkillers or there are certain medications which we don't know some sometime some heavy metals preparations all these medications should not be used and along with that healthy diet and a regular exercise these are very important for maintenance of overall good health as well as uh, reducing the complication of diabetes like kidney disease heart disease and other diseases